benefits of the ERP system. So when we're looking at increasing efficiency and productivity, definitely I've, I've given a couple examples already in, in how the system can increase uh, efficiency and productivity of your business. Access to real-time data. So by all um, by data being entered into the system and posted, that access to data is there for anyone in the organization to see, granted they have the security permissions to see the data. So you may not want somebody in the warehouse looking at financial information. Security can lock down who can see what data. Uh, enhanced visibility. So again, if you're the CFO or if you're on the, the finance side and you need to see across different modules, uh, you have the ability to do that. And again, more information you have at your fingertips, the better decision making you can make or the quicker decision making you can make. Better collaboration and communication. So ERP systems enable collaboration to, to, between departments and allowing access uh, for employees to the same data to work more effectively and efficiently. So it's important that everyone's looking at the same data set and relying on that same data set. Better compliance and traceability. So ERP systems can, can definitely help food industry uh, meet various different uh, compliance regulations provide ease of traceability of products throughout the supply chain. Um, so whether you need to set up lot tracking or serial tracking, um, if you're using inventory module, you can see the bill of materials and you can see which items make up that particular product. If someone comes to you and says, hey, this batch of, of product, uh, we need to know where it went and, and what end products and which customers received it, very quickly you can trace that information through the system. Uh, looking for that key compliance information. And also on the accounting front too, if you're following GAAP or generally accepted accounting principles or IFRS, all the financials um, are tracked as well for, for accounting and compliance perspective and audit. Improved customer service. So again, um, giving employees access to that real-time data, to those customers' order history, um, they can look for the relevant information to service the customers better. Uh, they can see buying habits of customers. You can do specific marketing campaigns to help increase sales. Um, again, that's just a good way to keep growing and, and growing your sales side of the business. Uh, cost saving. So an ERP, you know, as people think, it costs a lot of money to, to implement an ERP, which we'll talk about later as well. But there's also the cost savings, right? You can reduce waste, you can improve your inventory management, um, maybe move to just-in-time inventory so you don't have those carrying costs. You can optimize production. Um, again, by automating the system, you may not need employees to be spending their time doing data entry and looking for things. They can actually be actively working in the business versus on the systems that, that run the business. Um, all of those things can, can help save, uh, save money from the business or for the business. 